21 past the hour. It's church night, and it happens to be Ash Wednesday. What is that, the first day of Lent, Kathy? Now comes 40 days of atonement or something. Um, it occurs, what do I have here? Uh, Lent occurs 46 days before Easter. It is a movable fast that can fall as early as February 4th, as late as March 10th. According to the canon, canonical Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke, Jesus spent 40 days fasting in the desert where he endured temptation by Satan Ash Wednesday marks the beginning of this 40-day liturgical period of prayer and fasting of the 46 days until Easter, six or Sundays. And as the Christian Sabbath, Sundays are not included in the fasting period and are instead feast days during Lent. Ash Wednesday derives its name from the practice of placing ashes on the foreheads of adherents as a reminder and celebration of human mortality and as a sign of mourning and repentance to God. The ashes used are typically gathered from the burning of the palms from the previous year's Palm Sunday. So there you have it. At warisacrime.org website, it points out that nine people were arrested today for blocking the gate to the Hancock Drone Murder Base in upstate New York. Um, they were nonviolently interfering or protesting with the drone kill program, taken to include the routine use of drones in Afghanistan and Pakistan, as well as the targeted kill list. This happened at Hancock Air Base near Syracuse, New York. The nine arrested for disturbing the war were Matt Ryan, Carmen Trotta, Nancy Gowan, Bill Pickard, Bill Strait, Jim Clune, Ellen Grady, Linda Latender, and Marianne Grady Flores. If you go to warsacrime.org, scroll down a little bit on the main page, you'll find the article, and there are also photographs there. You can see the signs that the protesters were holding, one that is especially, um, what's the word I'm looking for, Kathy? Not poignant, deliberate, huge sign, <clears throat> at least six feet tall, for killing children, God forgive us. And then a full-color photograph of a dead child as a result of our drone attacks. So check it out, warisacrime.org. This is this website where David Swanson writes. A British news commentator asked a simple rhetorical question. Why would Marco Rubio vote against the Women's Protection Act? What goes on in the mind of someone like that? Jeff sent uh, me an email. He says, just when we thought the Republicans could not be more traitorous, fooled again. If I was writing the subtext on the screen while these filthy idiots shot off their insane mouths, it would go like this. Obama. We should repair the infrastructure of the nation, which would create jobs. John Boner and Lindsey Grahams. Blank you, blank er. <laughs> Every single positive, rational, political idea expressed by Obama was attacked by the halfwits. The most atrocious of all was Marco Rubio sticking both his GD feet in his mouth. What an idiot. And he wants to be president of this empire. Nobody hates these traitors more than I do. Every time they open their toxic mouths, out comes the lies, the racism, the traitorous crap. If the GOP was to rebuild the Titanic, they would not include lifeboats, because that would be socialism, right? And some more here from Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. Jeff's a little bit pissed off tonight. Don't blame him. And again, uh, Marco Rubio was among the 22 uh, Republican senators who voted against reauthorizing the Violence Against Women Act. 
uh, a law that the Florida Republican said he, you know, I support it, but he couldn't vote for it because of new provisions in the bill. Among his reasons for opposing the legislation, well, it would divert funds from domestic violence programs to sexual assault programs. Uh Uh-huh. Rubio added that he was concerned with a provision that would grant tribal courts here in the United States jurisdiction to prosecute crimes against non-Native Americans on tribal lands, which several other Republicans have said could raise constitutional problems. See, the way it stands now, if you are an Anglo, a European American, and you go on uh, Native American land and rape a woman, you uh, are immune from prosecution on that Native land. And you probably won't be prosecuted when you come back to non-native land. 